Bruce Lee. Basically, I just saw people, kids who was one or two years older than me, getting down in a disco and making all the girls go wild. So I was like, yeah, I got to try that, of course. That's that's the same story for all the guys, basically, isn't it? So, <laughs> so yeah, I started, started getting into it, trained really hard, eventually formed the crew and started developing with the people. And later, it was all about the crew for me. It was always the people around me that kept me going. So. Music is definitely an endless source of inspiration. Because there's always new, new music that you can find and it's all, all different. So like, when I, when I practice, the, like the number one inspiration is music. All the rhythms, all the different melodies and beats is always the only thing that actually gives energy to my dance, you know? If the music doesn't make make anything happen to you, maybe you chose the wrong, wrong dance, you know? <laughs> that should be, to me, the first of all, you, you love the music so much that it makes you move. You can't, can't stay still, you know? And you use breaking us as an expression to let that energy out, that's it. It's always good to speak with people, take everybody's workshops as far as possible. Um, what can you say, traveling is the number one feature for people. So. We didn't have a scene in Finland when I started, so we had to go outside the country in order to learn from the best. So little by little we raised money and traveled to Sweden first and Norway and after that further and further and further. And every time we travel we all, of course ask a lot of questions, so now when we go back home I feel inspired to train more. That's definitely true, like to me the first battle is back home when you get your ass out, out that couch get your ass to the to the practice but get to the gym make things happen it's not it's not on the dance floor it's it's definitely inside you and it's it's already back home flavor it's the individual reaction to the moment like once you have your certain style the flavor that you bring on top of that style when you react to the changing of the moment when you express that flavor to me. Well, it's always good to get inspired by people, get energy from seeing people. You see good, good b-boys and b-girls, so you get motivation to keep going, of course. But as long as you don't take anything straight, or if you take an idea, you need to flip it. You cannot use it like this. You need to make it look like your own. And if it's like this, it's all good. Like you, like I say, you can be can be inspired, but you cannot be a clone. English. I would maybe break, but I wouldn't understand the lifestyle behind it. Like to understand the culture, the language is essential. Wise people should always stay open-minded and be hungry to learn more. As soon as you lose that hunger, you, you need to think like, is this any more for you, right? So keep an open mind in the, in the culture and try other things too. Don't just break, 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 right? And study study other things as well. Study hip hop elements. Study rap. Study DJing. Study graffiti. And you some you're gonna get something out of it. You're gonna get some motivation and energy from these things. And uh, as a lifestyle, to me, uh, you should definitely get a plan B. Stick to school. Don't drop out. And uh, once you get injured, then that might be it. So. Get a plan B, get a paper from, from a school or start a company. Like make your own business and make your own life happen. It's all about you. Nobody's not gonna do it for you. So do your do your hustle, make your companies, stick to school, and that's it. B boy to me, I would say it's not a sport, it's definitely an art. It's a dance first of all, but I would say B boys are artists and B girls are artists as well. Because of the creativity, because of the expression, because of the musicality aspect. And, uh, if that's not there, maybe you can call it a sport then, but then again, I wouldn't say it's B boys.